What's up YouTube? Back to more of Main Assembly Early Access. Still on the tutorial, I was doing Programming Basics and we're on to Nodes. An introduction to finding and placing nodes and refresher on how to hook it up with wires. Cool. Alright, bring up your assembly mode again, print, and try out this new robot. Okay. Can you figure out what's wrong? Yeah, not the best at turning, is it? Well, I am very sure that you can fix that. Hop back to assembly mode and bring up the programming interface again, just like you did before. It turns fine in reverse, <laughs> just not when going forward. Okay, so I need B, P. Have a look at the notes here. Looks like we have inputs connected to the power of the motors, but no inputs for the steering. No wonder it was a bit difficult to drive. Since there are no more inputs placed in your work, now we just have to connect the two nodes. Just as we did before. Drag a wire from the output of the input node to the input of the... Now, select that node. Its properties should show on the left. Bravo. Now do this. Sweet. Looks stellar. Back out of programming Wait. and then print this off and see how it drives now. Okay, so, mark this piece to continue when you are ready. Beautiful. Hacker mode on. You should now have a pretty good idea of how this works. Let's see if you got it. I mean, I've got the basics. As always, you don't have to test drive this robot. I know it's... Darn it. The sloppy person working on this bot seemed to have completely ignored to program this thing. Lucky for us that you know how to do this now. Let's see if you can figure this out. You will need to find the power and steering node for the motor. And then two input nodes to map the keys you want to use to drive this thing. And don't forget to connect them with some wires. Good luck. When you feel ready, you just back out to assembly mode again and then print it, and go for a spin. Hold on. Why are there two of them? <laughs> okay, so for power, we want W, S, A, D. Oh, yes. Program base. Impressive. This was all I had for you right now. Okay, I got the A and D backwards. Build a chassis, place some parts, and hook up the programming. I am going into sleep mode now, but park it and I will unload the simulation for you and bring you back to the facility. I will make sure to find you when I think that you are ready for more. Hey, Doe. I actually just want... Well, for one, I think I want this to be A and this to be D. I also want this to be like negative 25 somehow. No, maybe not. Maybe that's all I want. So now it's rear wheel steering. And it's kind of reversed from what I would want. Okay, there's a timer. Undock. Hold on. B. P. Okay, so that's the alpha. I would actually like this to be the beta. 
steer. I think th that'll do it for me. Beautiful. Almost beautiful. I can't reverse. <laughs> I think I gotta get that. Driving this thing is not the easiest. Okay, B, enter. Let's just go nice and slow, even though it says to go fast. This is super not easy. Come on. I feel like that was close enough for me. Good enough. Set free. Play. trying to make just anything okay I have other options what could go wrong with adding thrust those look like they're facing the wrong direction for one I don't really know how to rotate yet Okay, hold on. I need to know how to rotate these. Wait, that's how. Okay. Using the scroll wheel. Okay, it just wants to face them that way. So with that in mind, maybe we just change the direction that the chair is facing. Wheels. Ooh, I can make all kinds of stuff. Mechanical. This is a little bit intimidating. Here, let's just print this bad boy. Hey, let's go back and I'm gonna play with the controls just for fun. Okay, WS is to go forward, parts, booster alpha, boost. Oh, it's left shift. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, 
There, I think we're good to do that again. And let's just... So, I might need some different ways to steer. We'll say that. Here, I'm going to exit that assembly and build it over here. So, let's extend that out. Let's extend this out. What is the bend tool? Oh, that's weird. Um, I don't know how to add a new joint yet. Control. Oh, I guess that'll do it. No, I want that to go down. How do I... How do I do the things? No, give me that piece. There we go. 10 centimeters down. And I kind of want to do the same up here. So we're going to... Control, control, here we'll go 10 centimeters down, okay, I feel like those are a good place to put wheels, by which I mean motors. The camera view is not helping me at the moment. Wait. Oh, hold on. Those are like hollow. I don't want those to be hollow. Okay. I don't know why I double clicked that or what that did. Beautiful. No, E is not what I wanted to hit. Wheels, extra, extra large. Okay, those are pretty big. Extra large? <laughs> small. Feels like there should be something in between large and small. Maybe medium. Okay, P. Okay. I like that there was a break. One thing I don't like, the thrusters are facing backwards. Like, well, my chair's facing backwards. Hey, why aren't the thrusters hooked up? Hold on. They're also facing the wrong direction. So is my chair. No, get out of extrude mode. Is it escape? No. That feels better. Now, P. Left shift will do my boosters. Okay. I feel pretty good about this.
I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Oh, I can break using spacebar. You can't give me a timer like that. I don't know where I am at the moment. Hmm. Interesting view. Let's go ahead and print this. Wait. Darn it. I was like right there. Next. I don't want to do driving. Driving sucks. Survival. Logistics. Stupid driving. Welcome to the Olive Simulated Challenge Course. Let's start gently. An Olive Institute building is at the bottom of this scenic hill. Create a robot that can drive down to the parking area. Keep an eye out for optional objectives. These will unlock additional simulation capabilities. Yeah, this thing seems solid. Why am I already missing a wheel? I just saw that there's a bridge now. Okay, I'm gonna say everything is fine about this robot or about this machine. We just we're getting used to driving. I still have all my wheels. What could go wrong? That's all my jet... No, it just has a cooldown. I don't think I actually care that much about poking the dummies. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go from the other direction. Wait. I can flip it. E. Driving in this game is tricky, I'm just going to say. Okay, stop. I could use space, I think, to break. Okay, whoever's watching and judging... You play this game and see how you do with driving your rocket ship. Okay. I'm just gonna jump out really quick and flip this over. And we're good. We're back on the road. We're looking for two more dummies. Found one. One more dummy. And two more gates.
think he's down here somewhere. There's a gate. Okay, break. Er. Failed shipment. I could do that. I just have to not end up in the water, probably. I feel like this thing probably doesn't float well. I actually remember it giving the tooltip before I even started the game of robots don't like water. You have to reverse things while going backwards to steer. It's like driving your car in reverse. It's tricky. I guess it's not too tricky. Ooh, there's my buddy. Okay, I hit him. I'm gonna jump out really quick and we're just gonna flip this again. Just flip it, beautiful. And we'll get back in before it rolls away. And now I just gotta find the one gate. There it is. Driving expert. Oh God. How did I not poke all the... Oh, I had to go collect a star from that. That's okay. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that for right now. So, let's go back. What is drone? Oh. I think we definitely graduated. Coronavirus, do we get the firefighter mask? No, we go with sunglasses. I think we're good with outsides. But we will take the princess cape. Now I feel like we're good without the sunglasses. Progress. Look at all this progress. Oh, so this lets me unlock stuff, maybe? There's a bunch of stuff. All right, this does it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably play more of this. I don't know, maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think of the game. It's pretty interesting. All right, 